welcome to the Below Deck Crew Panel, and please give a warm welcome to our moderator, beloved Bravo commentator, and Bravo icon, Kate Chastain. BravoCon day three. Are you guys having so much fun? Well, let's get right into it. We have all of your favorite below deck yachties here. The ones that bring the big deck energy to the seas, the drama, the fun. Let's bring them out. We've got Alex Fraser, Toomey, Daisy, Aisha, Colin, Natalia, Luca, Gorgeous. Are you guys having a good BravoCon? Oh my god, the best BravoCon. I don't think there's any other way to have BravoCon. In Vegas, this is a lot. This that's, is the best. That's huge. You guys have any good uh, gossip from BravoCon so far you want to share with the audience? <laughs> I never have gossip. I'm so unobservant. Yeah, Does I never have Does anyone have anything either. juicy? <laughs> I just live in my La La <laughs> Land. No, Toomey, you, can, you give us the gossip. No, I'm not saying you that. You definitely have got, oh, that's a lie, I know that's a lie. Toomey fell asleep on the sofa in a club last night. I actually so. did. <laughs> Getting your rest, I get it. So, why don't you all point to the person here who you think is the fan favorite in Bravo's Below Deck universe? Aisha! Aisha, Aisha definitely. someone from another Below Deck franchise that you guys wish you could work with. Uh, Aisha, let's start with you. Um, I know that you aren't on it anymore, but I would love to work with you. Uh -huh. You are the wittiest, I've said this so, so many times, you're the wittiest person I've ever known. Yeah. Aisha, you are my favorite Below Deck person too. <laughs> Colin, who would you like to work with? Um, I'd go with Captain Jason. He's so hot. <laughs> It's not Captain Jason, it's Daddy Jason. Toomey, who would you like to work with? Daisy. Ooh, oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, Daisy. Thanks, Toomey. I'm gonna go, I would love to work with you, but I have to go with Fraser. He's my boy. Yeah. Fraser, who would you like to work with? Daisy. Yay! Aisha, <laughs> Natalia, Colin, Luca, Kyle, Toomey, <laughs> and Alex. Oh! and Kate Chastain. Okay, thank you. Um, now, let's get to more naughty questions. Has there ever been anything, and we know there has, that you've had to warn your family about in an upcoming episode? How about you, Kyle? Every single time you see me half naked or in a thong or in underwear, I had to tell them, listen, this is not how you want to see me, but how everybody should. <laughs> yeah. Luca, how's your experience been? Uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. I did have to warn my family about a few things. <laughs> this side of the couch, any warnings for your family? Yeah, just any of my make out sessions. It's so never... many of them, Daisy. So many. Which one, Your, Daisy? They couldn't watch the show. Your family could not watch the show. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fun. All right, let's go to Chief Stews. Now, out of all the Chief Stews here, is there anything that you think the other Chief Stews do better than you? That you admire? We have to talk about Aisha's charisma. Yeah. Aisha's yeah. charisma is beyond yeah. perfect. I agree. So let's learn from Aisha, please. Yeah. And you're so chilled. Like, you taught me that. Like, just relax. Yeah, it's the thing. It's yeah. like nothing is worth getting stressed over. We're already 100%. working bloody 18-hour days. We don't need to be at each other as well. But I was gonna say Toomey's tablescapes. That girl, holy sh My mind is not creative, yours is like yeah. insanely creative. Thank you. Fraser, you are so funny and I find so much of your humor goes over people's heads because it's yeah. extreme sarcasm. And I think people think you're being serious half the time but you're not serious most of the time. 
Most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, though, very kindly. I'm going to say Kate's directness. I am not direct. Oh. You put people in their place, whereas I am a people pleaser, and it, that gets me in trouble. So I need to be more direct. I think you're very direct, but I'll take that compliment. <laughs> now, you're more direct, though. <laughs> you're. <laughs> that is true. Now, you, Colin and Alex, you've all worked for Captain Glenn. Um, what's your favorite thing about working? He's so darling. Yeah, I think just, well, A, he's super funny. He's, like, always keeping it lighthearted. And I also just think that he's so approachable. Like, he makes me feel equal. And that's the kind of captain I like working with. I don't like, yeah, kind of. He's a great roommate. Yeah. Great roommate. <laughs> oh, my God, when you dropped your bottle on his head. <laughs> He's a good sport, Captain Glenn. Now, what about Captain Jason? Aisha, Toomey, Luca. What do you love about working for Captain Jason? Um, I think Jason's quite chill, but his management is amazing. Like, everyone knows their place and everyone supports him. Yeah, I think what I love about him, again, he treats you like a friend, he treats you like an equal, and when someone's misbehaving or they made a mistake, he's not like, you did that wrong. He's like, I want to sit with you and get in your brain and really understand where this behavior comes from. I would be making mistakes on purpose so often. Yes, yes, Captain Jason, we need to have another one-on-one. -on -one. I think we do. I think we do. And now, Luca, Aisha, Natalia, Kyle, Toomey, Fraser, you've all worked for Captain Sandy. What's your favorite thing about working for Captain Sandy, Natalia? We love Captain Sandy. She's honestly such a legend and Anything we need, we can just go straight to her, and she always has the best answer. She has time to talk, and honestly, she's like a boat mum for me. I love her. Yeah. And I also feel like she was so funny. Like, yeah. people don't realize, you don't see how funny she is. She's hilarious. So funny. She's so funny. Like, she's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, Timmy, do you still have the hearts for Captain Jason? Absolutely. Oh, my God. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Like, can we get married, please? <laughs> <laughs> the kids would be cute. Gorgeous. Right, yeah. I think Lala might be first in line, though. That's, that's the gossip around BravoCon. <laughs> that is some know. gossip right yeah. there. Uh, to me, how did it feel having to join the charter season late, knowing someone else had to fill the position of Chief Stu before oh, you got there? It was horrible. That's my least favorite thing. Like, it was absolutely dismal. Like, I really, yeah, it was hard. It was hard. You did a great job, though. What was your favorite thing? Did you learn a lot from Asia when you were working with her? Relax. We were actually speaking. Like, we had a call that they probably won't air, but yeah, I was in comms with Asia as per usual. <laughs> and since it's so rare to have a female captain in the industry, yeah. you worked for Captain Sandy. Uh, what's the biggest lesson you learned from her? She always said, rise above. Yeah. yeah. So she always used to look at me and be like, rise above, rise above. And I'm like, I don't want to, I want to scream. <laughs> Captain like, Sandy's like a like the female version of Tony Robbins or something. She's like a true. constant motivational speaker. She really is. She's amazing. That yeah. is so true. You're she so funny. Really is, yeah. Now, Natalia, you, you did an incredible job as Chiefs do in your short stint. You really did. I was so impressed. Thank you. Yay, she did. <laughs> Thank you so your, much. Your pirate scavenger hunt for the kids was amazing. What's the most over-the-top request you've ever had to fulfill for a guest or take it upon yourself to fulfill? We all know in the yachting industry, like, the requests get wild, but I guess it's flying girls in from all around the world, like, girls they've met, and they're like, fly in this person. And I've actually had a guest request a girl to come from Europe that he'd met. We flew her in, he saw her, and he was like, she looks nothing like her pictures. And he made me send her back. Oh. Economy. Oh. No. When she flew business over, so, like, I had to break the news. And I was like, I'm so sorry, babe. You just didn't make the cut. You're off. That's a good story. It was brutal. Speaking of brutal, I have to commend you as well. How hard was it to go from Chief Stu, then back down? Honestly, it's obviously a little bit difficult. I was in the yachting industry for like a few years, for eight years. So I was actually happy. As I know what it seems on TV, but I was very excited to see Toomey's Tablescapes. Um, it obviously is hard taking that step down. But in the end, I think we, had, we ended up having a good season. And right now, we're really good friends. We went out last night. Oh, we were partying last night. <laughs> we were drunk in a sandwich shop at 1 a.m., so that speaks levels. I'm so happy to hear that. No, we really are. After was, you woke up from your nap. Yes, quite. 
Kyle, you're recently engaged. Congratulations. Yeah, Kyle. Thank you. Yeah, I am. Um, where is my wonderful fiance? Over there. Yeah. Very, very lucky. It's been love you, honey. It has been quite a journey coming up to New York, transforming my whole life. But I'm so happy how Below Deck brought love to me. But it is not Charter Guest Frank. No, uh, listen, that's the one thing about it was uh, Frank was a moment where it was cute because you're on the heat, you're tired, but when you actually get off the boat and realize how grounded something is, that's what I found in my future husband, was absolute ground. That's the joy that I have with him. Aww. Now, as a self-proclaimed tea queen. Hello, I'm going to make this new merch, self-proclaimed anything, I believe. Why don't you reveal a fun little secret about one of your season eight castmates? Ooh. Be very careful. I know. Like, now I'm thinking Watch them really out. hard. Watch your mouth. Something really secretive. But fun. Or fun. Yeah, I feel, um, you know what, regardless of the absolute chaos Natalia and I are currently experiencing, she is a nutcase in the best way. She is really fun, very outgoing, and always brings the party to every single crew member out there. So, very thankful oh, for that. Oh, Kylie! I know! I'm I, loving this new person! I, I literally, new person? She's oh, always oh. leaving! <laughs> always, always. She's always I'm been sorry, a good person. I'm sorry, I knew this was going to happen. I think the only reason you've been, you've had the last, I think, year to talk to me and maybe reach out and say something positive, and I think you're choosing only right now because everyone's here. And you've had the whole last three days to say anything to me, you could have reached out to me, you could have gone through a producer. Yeah, but Natalia, let's uh, calm down. What is he going to do? Stand up here and diss you? Like... Well, he could have said anything, to be honest, Daisy. And I think I knew that him coming for me, right, being nice, he's had the whole one year to come and be nice to me. Well, so it's taken you nice. an actual year to still not recover and still go around calling people devil and you the worst. Firstly, it's okay. Mr. Devil to you. And um, the thing is, Natalia, I really have found a lot of peace and serenity. We love that for you. This is not a reunion. Yeah. 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 Love that for you. Luca, you are so handsome. Thank you, yes. thank you. Luca, you are so handsome. Uh, we know you had a fling with Aisha's sister a few years ago. Sorry to throw your sister under the bus right now. We had a change. Sorry, go more, more than a few years, more than you, a few years. How long did you and Aisha's sister see each other? Did you guys work on a boat together? No, no, we just like two hours. the same crew house. It was, no, it was like two minutes. Ten minutes, yeah. No, but how? Oh, is that all, baby? <laughs> no, wait, but didn't you want Aisha and then she didn't want you and then you went for the sister? Isn't that the story? Whoa, I don't know where you had <laughs> that. <laughs> Careful, Scott. Me and Aisha are like brother and sister. Oh. Yeah. No, he's lying. Now, Luca, <laughs> when Captain Sandy asked you to be the full-time bosun, what percentage of you was excited and what percentage of you was, holy sh so scared? Yeah, um, when that happened, I was definitely in shock. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I didn't really have the option to put the, put the position down, so I had, to, I had to take it and, yeah, I'm kind of glad I did. You did really well. Yeah, you did well, a good job. You did amazing. Thank you. Yeah. We're definitely good eye candy for the boat as well. Fraser, you're such an incredible Chief Sue. I'm so happy to see you. What was the biggest lesson you learned during your first season as Chief Sue, and what are you feeling now about captain-mandated team bonding excursions? Very good question, Kate. Thank you for asking it. <laughs> um, my first season as Chief was rough, as it should be for everyone, because no one's born perfect, and you have to learn from your mistakes to learn anything. So I did learn a hell of a lot, and um, Sandy taught me a hell of a lot. I think it's really important to acknowledge that. As much as we had our differences, I learned so much from her, and I'm so, so grateful to have had her um, as part of my Below Deck journey, as well as the other three captains I've worked for. <laughs> um, but yes, I've, um, I've loved it so far. I've learned so much. I've learned to um, not be as pally with my, um, uh, my crew, um, or did I? We'll see in the next trailer of uh, next season, but yeah. Speaking of the trailer for next season, I think we have a little something to show the audience. Well, I know I have big shoes to fill. Oh, 
I like it that way. We all have good days full of rainbows and unicorns. Wow. And then we have some bad days, right? We got about two and a half shots in the water. I asked for one shot. I expect perfection. You work hard, you'll be rewarded. You around, I will turn in a heartbeat. All your distance. I'm getting no information. I can't fight this. Stop it. Stop it. Strap in. <laughs> it's going to be a long ride. Oh, sweet as <laughs> 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 oh. Don't touch it. You're not allowed to touch it. You just mixed with my aura. You <laughs> insane, by the way. I am the greatest. One crew, one family, bitchy. <laughs> If you can somebody play more quietly. Estoy como a cinco minutos de perder el control. Estoy como ahí. I include primary in the hot tub. Gross. Good God, this is dirty, eh? I think it's time for a shower, a shave, a little misbehave. I'm a lot more hetero than I am bisexual. I love Madonka donks. Bobby and Kyle screaming like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen wants a New Year's kiss from you. I can't kiss a guest. Yes. Oh, what happened in Granada? Say it in Granada. That's very smooth. It's freezing. The easiest part of being a captain is driving the boat. The hard part's the crew. Distance to clear. Three. Someone call these wankers. I operate in feet. I have to translate it into meters. I'm sorry, but I feel dumber when I'm around him already. I've had a lot of flames in my life. <coughs> and that's some chewy ass Oh, Sonny. I'm so sorry. You guys are so adamant that I'm this bitch. You're a bitch to me. I can't get through to him. I can't fix it. Heard something today from Kat. Really? I'm sort of happy with you. Please don't get involved. On Mate, you've you had way more people let go on your side. End of story. Oh, you, Ben. You think I'm a fucking joke? I feel disrespected in many ways. Where the f am I to the whole season? <laughs> I am so fing mad. It's a total disregard of my authority. I never saw that coming ever. I'm up and trying to sleep. I can hear you two decks up. You are not thriving. Go yourself. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm doing okay. I could be a little better. I think this boat has a curse. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Wow. Well, everyone, you can catch the premiere. That will be February 5th, 2024, the all-new season of Below Deck. Fraser, that looks ripe with drama and insane. What three words would you describe this upcoming season as? Unexpected, challenging, and saucy. Yeah, we did see a saucy moment you had there. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun watching yourself make out on TV, is it? <laughs> nope. Come on now. Come on now, dude. Well, in addition to your return, we also see the return of Ben from last season, and it seems like he's interfering in the interior a bit. What can you share about your working relationship with him this season? I think he's an amazing yachty, and he uh, has got a very good work ethic, but he loves to stir the pot. And when we have a job, and when we're being watched by the entire world to perform our job at our best ability, that's just not my vibe. So I understand we're doing a show, but this is our job. Aisha. <laughs> you are enchantingly unfiltered. Is there anything you regret saying during your time on Below Deck so far? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. No regrets. <laughs> we are all so obsessed with your dynamic with Captain Jason. What do you think caused you to transition so seamlessly from Captain and Chief Stu into genuine friends? Do you think it was the contact lenses? And how do you avoid being distracted by his good looks? 
Um, so I think we transitioned into such good friends because as Jason put it so well last night, I verbalise everything that he's thinking. We both have like dirty 12 year old boy minds. Um, so he just was happy that he had a mouthpiece for all of his thoughts. Um, and I'm not distracted, I just, I see him like a brother. I don't look at him and my panties start to drop. I'm just like, hey bro. Oh, I do. Yeah, Toomey does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you and your boyfriend doing? Have you finally upgraded from going to the bathroom in buckets? I mean, road tripping? What's, what's new with you? You're always all over the place. We've, we've um, gone from pooing in buckets to pooing in toilets, but he still feels a bit on edge when we've got eye contact when the poo is coming out. Which I'm, I'm still trying to get past that. I'm like, I want to look at you, babe. Um, but we're going very well. Very, very well. Love of my life, and I'm so lucky to have him. Yeah, you guys yeah. are a gorgeous couple. Yeah. 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 Big up for Scott. Daisy, reflecting on your last season, since it was a bit of a tumultuous one, what's something that makes you feel the most proud of how you handled yourself during a tough situation? Oh, am I proud? Uh, no, um, I, yeah, I think just in general, anytime you go through, I'm a very emotional person. I feel things very, very strongly. And I think every time I do go through something like that and having to experience that on such a public platform, but, you know, rising through it and being in a much stronger place now. Yeah, I'm proud of being able to do that and share that with a lot of people. <laughs> I hosted the captain's panel and Captain Glenn spoke so highly of you, um, as he should. You're a great chief stew. But last season you did uh, get a little defensive when it came to feedback. That word gives me PTSD. <laughs> do you feel like you're getting better at that? Um... No, because, um, no, I mean, it's difficult. Like, I, you know, I do try to take everything on board. And I think for me, if to other people, what might seem defensive, for me, it genuinely was trying to be vocal. And I felt like I, I wasn't being heard. Um, but I wasn't, you know, trying to be um, dismissive or anything like that. I was taking it in. I'm just, I'm a passionate person. So I don't regret it. But, yeah, I'm always learning. I'm always changing. And, yeah, that, that was a year ago. I'm... I hope to think I'm a bit of a better person. <laughs> I think you were great. I'm proud of you. Colin, hi, I haven't talked to you much today. Where did you fly in from? You're always sailing around the world. Yeah, so I've got my own catamaran. We just sailed from uh, Mexico to Tonga. Um, that is one hell of a flight from Tonga to get here. And I leave today as well, so it's uh, wow. big three days. Yeah, we're glad to have you. Thanks for coming out. Are you still seeing the videographer? What's your, what? are you still dating a videographer? What's your current relationship status? Yeah, yeah, we're still together. Um, yeah, sailing around the world together. Well, while we have Daisy here, what are your three favorite things about her? Uh, hey, I loved you. I mean, I <laughs> three positive things. I mean, that's great. There's so many. Yeah, no, there's, there's, there's so many good things about Daisy. Um, she's determined, she's a good leader, and uh, we all kind of just respect her, and she doesn't demand that we just give that to her. Yes, yes, yes. We love that. Thank I totally you. agree. Good job. Now, do you think the crew last season gave you proper dues for literally saving the charter season with your work on the engine? Did everyone understand how serious of a situation that was, do you feel? Yeah, um, Glenn and I were actually talking about like uh, the season being done. We were like, it's, it's over, we can't come back from this. The engine needed a full rebuild and we didn't have the, t the time to do that or the means to do that. So um, I, I actually got a letter from the owner of the boat saying, you have per my permission to do anything you can to get the engine running because uh, I didn't want to touch it otherwise. And uh, yeah, he, he, once he said that, I just started hacking away at it. Wow. I got lucky, I got lucky. We all got lucky, you saved the season. Alex, hi, how you doing? What's the biggest difference between living on a boat with fellow yachties and living in a house with an assortment of other Bravo Labs? Well, it's, it's night and day. Um, I don't have my work to hide behind, for one. So you have to like wake up every day in Winter House and you're on, you know. You're, you're, you are the entertainment. So like with Below Deck, it's like the, the stories kind of write themselves, the drama writes itself, and you don't have that in a setting like Winter House. It's like you have to show up every day and be on. Uh, who from this stage would you like to take to Winter House with you? Ooh. Take to Winter House with 
Uh, maybe Kyle? You know that's right. Thanks, Alex. We are going to play a little game. Are you guys ready? Yes. This game is called Believe It or Yacht. It's, we're gonna play, I'm gonna ask you some naughty yachty themed Never Have I Evers. If you've done it, hold up your naughty sign, and if you haven't, hold up your yachty sign. Let's go. Have you ever been caught venting about your captain? What? Venting about your captain. All right. Have you ever slid into a fellow Yachty's DMs while watching them on Below Deck? And who? Kyle, who'd you slide into? Alex. Alex? <laughs> Luca, who did you DM? No, no, sorry, I'm bringing it back down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have you ever eaten food off of a guest plate? Oh, have you ever eaten food and off of a guest plate? And you say cutlery. Plate? You don't want to wash twice. Eat food off a guest oh, plate. I'm, I'm a queen. I'm the queen of that. Yeah, all the time. Me and Aisha did, the, oh, we did that all the time. All right, have you ever actively talked a fellow crew member with hopes of planting the seed that he or she would be fired? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Kyle. <laughs> have you ever lied to your captain? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever hooked up with a below decker from another below deck franchise? Luca, can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking at you, Luca. <laughs> have you ever hooked up in the captain's wheelhouse? Penetration, just tongues. Thank you for clarifying that. Thank you. Have you ever reported to duty after a crew night out and still felt a little drunk? Have you ever got completely stiffed for a tip by terrible charter guests? Have you ever hooked up in a guest cabin without permission? No, I gave the permission. <laughs> Have you ever liked a shady post or comment on social media about a fellow crew member? They're public, guys. Have you ever made out with someone during Anchor Watch? <laughs> Again, just tongues. Good, good. Last one. Have you ever gone skinny dipping in the ocean after hours? Well, not off the boat, but in, on a beach. Yeah. Well, great job, guys. You all did really well. I'm shocked by you, Aisha. <laughs> all right, we're gonna take audience questions now. Go ahead. My name is Jay, and this is Caitlin. She's from Las Vegas. I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. And why am I up here? I'm a below decaholic. I'm Woo! here because of all of you. You're the only ones I watch. The only ones. Thank you. So Caitlin and I combined have a question collectively for those that I have not yet met. I've met all of you except for five of you. <laughs> Daisy, Toomey, Natalia, Luca, and Kyle. Have in your yachting careers, have you ever experienced a charter guest where you're like, oh, the atmosphere's so broken down, I'm just so ticked off, I want him or her or they the frick off this boat. Absolutely. Absolutely, my mom. All the time. Yeah. All, All the time. time. Tell us who. Tell us who. Who was it? Who was it? I will say my last boat that I was on now, I won't say her name, but she's really well known. She was horrible. And when I tell you every celebrity was on that boat, everyone, I would even say J Lo. Whoa. Yeah. Where were but you? the owner was in New York. And she was horrible. That's all I'm going to say. Ooh, I quit multiple times. Juicy <laughs> question. Thank you so much. Thank you. Who do we have over here? My name is Aoife Bruce. I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Woo! Um, first of all, I love you guys so much. And out of all the reality shows, you actually work. <laughs> yes, we Thank do. You. Yes. Very hard. But you do like to have fun. And I love each and every single one of you. Uh, Alex, what the f are you doing in that hot tub? <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> Direct. I really have no idea. I, I, and, lights um, were on, but nobody was home. And I never cry on these reality shows, but Daisy, my God. You 
broke my heart. Oh, you're gonna make me cry again. <laughs> like, I'm so, I hope the three of you just, God bless you, all three. I know, that means a lot. I you. just, I, like, life is too short and you guys have a beautiful, oh my God, I'm gonna I know, I'm gonna cry, stop. So, um, just, yeah. Okay, my question. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, no, 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 no my more? question. No, no, my question is, do you guys love the sea that much? Being a Bravo celebrity, if you got an opportunity to just be a celebrity, would you walk away from the sea? How passionate are you about the sea? No, I, I need to be passionate. biased. I'm like charged <laughs> by I'll do anything to get care. away from it. I would rather be on a beach than working on a boat. I love the sea, swimming in it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I find, I, I like having my little taste of a yacht, yeah. you know, every year, because it is one of those things, it's the hardest thing you've ever done, and it makes it weirdly addictive, so when you've been away from it too long, you're like, I kind of want to punish myself a bit again. Yeah, it's adrenaline, yeah. adrenaline rush for sure. Well, like two weeks out of a year, that's yeah. perfect. It's definitely nicer being a guest on a yacht than working on a yacht, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That was a very good question, thank you. Next. Hi everyone, I'm Sheila from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And shout out to my girlies in the audience, Bree and Sarah, we're having the best time. My question, imagine it's ultimate Bravo trip yachty version. Who are you bringing? Aisha. <laughs> Hell yeah. Aisha's coming for sure. <laughs> and they can be outside of any franchise too. Beyonce? Oh, franchise. Oh, oh. Beyonce too. I want Erica Jane. I nearly fainted when I met her yesterday. I actually That's nearly fainted. <laughs> Erica Jane? Yeah, I'm gonna go with, I love the, I, Lisa Vanderpump. I yes, just wanna, I wanna always, hang out with her. Always, 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 always. Sure yeah. <laughs> um, if anybody knows Corey from Summer and Winter House, that is a party karate on a yacht. <laughs> Alex, right. I got you, awesome. put in Thank a good word. So Thank you so much. Next. Hi, I'm Greg from Vegas. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Colin, big congratulations on your recent transit of the Pacific uh, and th for sharing that journey too, really appreciate it. My question, you guys famously work these 16, 18 hour days, day after day after day. I'm in the morning of day three of BravoCon and if someone asked me for a caramel macchiato, I might cut a bitch. How the hell do you guys do it? And do you guys have any examples where you let your emotions get the best of you, maybe in the shape of a penis-shaped blanket. Any stories you want to tell, thank you. It was a rocket ship. A rocket ship with balls. Perfect balls, they were perfect. You know, I admit, this is, Vegas is a lot. Yachting is a lot, but this is a lot. I, I actually find this almost harder because at least we've got structure. Like, you know what to expect, but it is, it's so hard. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, but I guess that's what makes it so rewarding. And you definitely have a breakdown the second the cameras stop at the end. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and just having a finish line, like, I think that's really important with anything, just going, you know, I know you can see it, you can see the light. Like, this evening, it's, it's it, coming. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great question, thank you. Next. Good morning, Yachties. This is Kelly and Sarah from the Above Deck podcast. Good morning. Our question is for Toomey and Kyle. Is it true that the crew that arrived before you guys had you believing that there was a cat on board the yacht and you were feeding a pretend cat for a couple weeks? Listen, I've been getting so much bad about this goddamn cat. Natalia, please can you explain because I didn't even know what was happening. Okay. Can we explain? So, I told a lie to everyone and I said, guys, we were just in port. Captain Sandy's really angry. A cat just got on the boat. We need to look for it. And then I put out like little cat treats, pictures of cats everywhere. And I convinced everyone to feed and give it milk every day. <laughs> And it didn't exist, and I even photoshopped a picture of it somewhere to make it look like it was on the boat. Oh, that's genius. I think Max is the one. Max literally thought there was still a cat. I think still to this day. He's probably in Europe somewhere looking for it. Yeah, Max definitely <laughs> believed you. Oh my God. Thank you for clarifying, because like, please leave me alone now. About Actually, the cat. <laughs> on one yacht, that was our code. If there was ever an intruder on the yacht that you didn't know, instead of saying on the radio, there is a stranger on the boat, you'd say, did anybody feed the cat? So that the intruder wouldn't hear it, oh. 
and go hide in a bilge. That's actually wild. Yes. That's a good That's card. What I thought though. you guys were doing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Next question. Hi, I'm Ann from Atlanta, and I just wanted to say, Kate, you're the best. And if you weren't there at the beginning of Below Deck, the rest of the people wouldn't be on the ground. Thank you. That's so nice. Thank you. My questions for Aisha. I was wondering what you could tell us about your experience on Winter House. Oh, um, brief and messy. So I, I, yeah, I got a call the day before just to ask if I wanted to come to a party and I showed up and I saw the state of the house, even like the state of the carpet, it was so sticky and dirty and I was like, I have to either go as hard as I've ever gone or go home right now. So I went hard and you're gonna see it and it's gonna be embarrassing. Thank you. Jacksonville, Florida. My question is for Aisha. In an alternative world, no boyfriend, is there a thing between you and Captain Jason? Absolutely not. Like, I can truly tell you I have not once felt attracted to him. Like, right from, no, seriously, right from the start, it's been so platonic. We want it. I know we you do, but I, trust me, my, my boyfriend is, is everything. You'd love it, you'd want that too. And Daisy, may we see that outfit? Because that is oh, hot, girl. Thank Stand you. Both of you, Daisy. Yeah, Daisy. Oh my God, I'm gonna awesome. burst the bomb. This outfit, this design. Thank you. Not to go all night for Vegas, yeah. you know. This um, this designer is BW. He's from New Zealand, and it's styled by Bailey at five foot nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Brooke. I'm from Canton, Michigan. Love you guys. Um, my question is, out of all of the Bravo celebrities that are in attendance here at BravoCon, who would you not want to charter a yacht? And who would you want to charter a yacht? I don't think I would want Sandra. Brian and Corey to charter a yacht. They're a little... They, they're Brian kind of, would be fun. Yeah, they're kind of a wrecking crew, so I would probably yeah. nix that right away. I wouldn't want... Um, what's that model from Real Housewives of Dubai? Because steaming her clothes would be a nightmare. That is true. It counts. So much laundry. No, is thank it a man, you. Chanel, is it Chanel? No, Chanel, Chanel. Yeah. yeah. But she's gorgeous. It's so oh, nice. I love but her. I don't want to be responsible for the clothing. I agree. We're going to be guests. I yeah. think it'd be fun to see Andy Cohen charter a yes. yacht and have the dream yacht crew. Yes. yes. Why is that not a thing? He can pick all the crew. Oh, I think he goes on yachts. They're just not televised. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Go ahead. Hi there. Um, I just wanted to say, Isha, how you handled the situation this year. That was... <laughs> it is... Yeah. It, how you did that was... So beautifully brave and you know how you handled it was wonderful um, my question is you guys typically film a couple weeks at a time we know some of you are influencers and you have different projects going but what do you do in between the seasons do you like go on other boats that are just not televised or what yeah, happens? the first few years I tempt I a lot of um, my year was spent temping uh, but the last kind of two years yeah below deck takes up a lot of my time and pursuing other projects which is really fun um, yeah Travel, a lot of travel. Yeah, a lot of travel. Can't get enough, it seems. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Hey guys, Katie from Atlanta. Alex and I are old friends. We met at the airport. Oh. Uh, oh. I f love every single one of you up there. I'm thank sorry, you. pardon my French, but I r honestly do. And my question is, because I love you all so much, I have such opinions on all of your lives and the little bit that I see. <laughs> And I was just curious, what is like maybe the most like egregious comment or question or something, a fan interaction that you've had? Can I say, yes, today was a really funny moment actually. I was with Fraser and Asia, we were taking photos and some lovely lady came over and she gave bracelets to us. And I think, what did yours say, Fraser? Something lovely. Lovely stewardess, what did yours say? That's amazing. <laughs> I gave Kate two bracelets the other day, Times New Roman, and it's a rocket ship. I've got them on, girl. They're right here. And I saw that 
and I love you for it. Well, my bracelet said, Natalia, shut the f already. <laughs> I was impressed about how she fit that on all in one bracelet. I was like, did I quote that or are you telling me? <laughs> but no, she was lovely. I saw her in the hallway last night in the hotel. Really she was so nice. She was really nice. That's hilarious. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andrea from Detroit, Michigan, and I have no friends that will put my contacts in. So I'm wondering, Aisha, is there anything you would not do for a friend? Because putting in someone's contacts is pretty incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I would literally, I would do anything. I've, I'm, I'm a dirty girl, all right? I eat most of my food off the floor. If you are constipated that day, I will finger your <laughs> for you. Whatever you need. Love She's you your guys. Well, on that note, thank you all for yeah. coming to the Blow Deck panel. The new season airs February 5th. Have a great time at ProvoCon, everyone, and Thanks Yanni's so. Let's Go. Yeah.